<laughs> yeah, so I'm Remy Blocker, I'm co-founder of Blue Rise. We are developing ocean thermal energy. Uh, before this, uh, I came from the IT industry, founded Affinity Systems, uh, developed a, a platform that is now used by UBC, SIGO, Cablevision in the U US, Time Warner. And before that, I, founded, I co founded No Wires Needed, which was a Wi Fi pioneer in the 90s. And I bet you that every one of you has a Wi Fi device in your pocket at the moment. Uh, so the, in the internet industry is big, but it pales in comparison to the energy uh, industry. Uh, and that's also where all the challenges are, I think, for the future. And that's why we are now trying to make a difference in the energy sector. And what really pulled me to the energy sector is something that you see on this next slide. Um, it's the oceans. And the oceans are really the largest solar collector in the world, uh, collecting about 71% of all the sunlight that falls on the Earth because of their surface. Uh, and most of this is stored as thermal energy in the ocean. So if you look at a typical maybe a slightly exaggerated uh, slope of a tropical island with some palm trees and some hotels and other buildings. Uh, what you will see is that the temperature gradient in the ocean is quite steep. So the surface water is really warm and down deep it's really cold. Um, this is something that you see worldwide in all the oceans. So you can consider the oceans to be a large battery that stores a huge amount of solar energy. Um, how do we use this? So, first of all, you can use it onshore by installing a large diameter pipe to pump up the deep sea water. And the first application that you have is cooling, cooling down buildings. Uh, cooling is the number one energy user in these areas. And by doing this, you save about 80 to 90% of the energy used for cooling. So that's a very interesting business case. Uh, the second thing is generating electricity using the temperature difference between the warm and the cold seawater, driving a turbine generator and producing base load, so 24 hours a day, of energy. And there, then there are some other applications, for instance, uh, drink water production uh, and the use in agriculture and aquaculture systems. But the really big uh, application for this is found offshore, uh, comparable to what you would see in an oil and gas platform, where a large riser pipe is used to bring up the cold water to the surface, combine it with the warm seawater, and generate base loads electricity um, in the multi-megawatt scale. This is the forecasted cost price of energy. Today we are at, say, competitive to diesel-generated uh, energy, which is what you find in most of these tropical islands anyhow but scaling up the technology just like any other technology. We saw a similar slide just for the, for the high wind power that we just saw. Uh, price will go down and ultimately we target to reach below five cents a kilowatt hour, but for a base load source. So we don't need storage or, um, or backup. So that makes it very interesting. Uh, this is our roadmap. Uh, we've proven the technology out in the laboratory. We're now uh, scaling up to pilot size uh, in, in use with a cooling system. Um, and then we go to multi-megawatt uh, onshore and offshore systems to finally get to commercial low-cost systems. This is the main project. We're developing more projects, but this is the main project we're currently working on. It's in uh, Curaçao. It's cooling down the airport, saving about $7 million a year in energy savings, which is uh, 14,000 tons of CO2, and it provides the infrastructure for our pilot installation. Um, so this is what we do, project development, together obviously with our construction and financial partners, technology developments, mainly with the TU Delft, that's where we're, we're based, but also with other knowledge institutes, and finally software development to be able to re uh, assess the resource that you find around these islands. Um, we're currently raising three million, which will enable us to bring the projects that we're working on to financial close, and also to prove out the pilot phase Outlook installation. So if you're interested, please contact me to get the information, inf uh, investment memorandum. Thank you. Great. The intro I actually didn't make to APAE, uh, but to IFC, the Interna IFC, International sorry. Finance Corporation. Yes, also very important. Are you working with them? 
Uh, we talk to them, yes, World Bank and also the IDB. Yeah. 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 yeah, they are interested in this type of stuff because it's in their region. And you are still based at uh, 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 Yesdelft? We are, and also in Aruba. Aruba, yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. All right, this Thank is you. Blue Rise. I love it. <laughs>